I'm Fox 4's Austin Chagorodsky reporting from LaBelle High School. This is where students had a bake sale fundraiser for Eduardo Escobedo, the 15 year old who was killed in a hit and run last week. It's just been a whole gamut of emotions the last couple of days. It's just so sad what happened to him because he was, just, he was just a kid, you know. Florida Highway Patrol says a vehicle hit Eduardo while he was riding his bicycle on Case Road. Investigators say they're still looking for the driver. I do know his family, um, friends of his cousins and his brother, and we did sit at the lunch table last year. and. <laughs> Stephanie Ponce organized the bake sale and raised awareness through Facebook posts. She says all the money will go to Eduardo's family. She tells me she's grateful for the support. It wasn't just students. It was like people from all over the belt. Ponce and school staff members told me how much of an impact Eduardo's character had on the school. He was always happy. He was always smiling. That's why we did these um, the smiles for Eduardo. People can donate money to write a message on these smiles. So far, more than $1,600 have been raised for the family. The students say they chose smiles because that's what everyone did when they were around him. We didn't know how big of an impact he has, has on our student body and community. Bookkeeper Cynthia Barron and school principal Tammy Bass say his legacy will have a lasting effect on the school. He's still a part of this school for us yeah. and will continue to be yeah, very right. much. And I think the kids feel that way. They feel that way too. It's clear that Eduardo's memory and smiles will live on in the hearts of those that knew him. Ponce tells me she plans on having another bake sale open to the public on Tuesday, and she'll have the details on Facebook. In LaBelle, I'm Austin Shagorodsky, Fox 4 News.